Welcome back guys. Today we're having a look at how to create a nice little camera that will fit pretty well with our beat them up movement from last episode. The camera will include smoothing so you can go left and right and have that little smoothing effect so it doesn't go as fast, uh, it doesn't snap right on your character. It's also going to have mounting box which means you'll be able to move left and right within a certain area and not have the camera move so you'll have some like free space in which you can go around and, and not trigger the camera going left or right. I have to record this very quickly today so the pace of the content is going to be much faster but at the same time um, you might like it if you do please let me know in the comment section down below and also before we get started i'd like to remind everybody that uh, actually i never said that before but we have servicing now so in case you're looking for people to make your own game um i'm there and two of my friends are there and they're going to be working under me to make yourself happen so if you're interested in that kind of service have a look down in the description down below it's going to be part of the description going forward did i forget anything no all right let's get started all right, so as mentioned in the opening, we're going to be tackling a smooth camera, a smooth 2D camera. Um, today, I'm going to be doing things quite fast because I'm, I'm kind of out of time. And also, um, I want to try out this model. So please let me know in the comment section down below if you appreciate this kind of pace. Okay, so we're going to start up. We have our camera. Any type of camera would do. In my case, I want to let you know that I'm using an orthographic camera with a 45 degree angle on my game. Um, create a new script. I call mine smooth camera and I drag and drop it on top of my camera, of course. If we open this one up, it has nothing in it right now. We're gonna quickly go through it and um, define a couple of fields. The first one I've declared is a private transform lookout. I also make sure to serialize it so I can um, drag and drop it in the inspector. The lookout is going to be the player or any other object that we're currently tracking with our camera. The second field is called offset, and that's to give you an effect whether or not you want to have your character a little bit more on the right, a little bit more on the left. You can adjust it with the offset once you're done. Now here's two more fields under bounds, and this is for the bounds mechanics. The bounds mechanic is going to allow you to go left and right a little bit without moving the camera. So you're going to be able to play in the center uh, in a certain bound and not have the camera move until you go a little bit further off the screen. So um, the first one is, of course, if you want to use this, then it's a boolean that we can toggle on and off in the inspector. Why is it in the inspector? Because we can serialize that field, okay? And then the bound x is going to be the value at which... Um, okay, so if you go 3 meter past the center, then at this point we start scrolling the camera with you. Else, you, you're free to play in that 6 by 6 square. And I don't know why I called it bounds x, let's just call it bounds. And then we have another section for smoothing, which is basically just like bounce. So it's an additional feature we add on top of that, and we can decide whether or not it's going to be active. Um, smoothing, you know what it is. It's just going to delay the camera a little bit so you don't snap directly on it. Um, we'll see it a little bit more later when we do our test. Section over here for our logic field, which is just desired position. In fact, you know what? This is part of smoothing, actually. Let's me, let me remove that section completely. Okay. All right, so we got all our field. Now all we need is a private void late update. Make sure it is a late update. Why? Well, you, if in case you're moving your player first and the camera tries to update it before that, if they're both on the update, it might happen. So the camera might update before the player and that just caused some kind of jitter effect. So if you're on the late update, you're sure 100% that this is being run after the player has moved because the player moves on the update loop um, and that is going to help us avoid that jitter. Now, here is what we're doing. First, we're going to determine where exactly should a camera be if there is no bounds and also if there is no um, smoothing. So it should be at look at the position plus the offset. It's as simple as that. So this is where it should be. Oh, and I just remember why I called it bound X and it's for our beat them up game. I wanted to have the camera allow us to have bounds on left and right, but not up and down. Um, so that's why it was called bound X. And that's also the logic I'll be applying here. So let's do that. So if enabled bounds, we're going to check if we are within the bounds on the X axis. And how do we do that? We declare a float delta X. Delta X is basically going to be our position. So position dot X minus the transform that position dot X. So um, the transform in this case, since we're putting the script on top of the camera, it's going to be the camera transform. And now what we're going to do is going to do a matf absolute to know if delta x is bigger than bounds. And what this does is that if we had a negative value in case we we're going left and we're using like the negative x axis, well now it become positive and we're going to check whether or not we're within the bounds. So let me check. 
I wrote it wrong. All right, so if we are inside of this if statement, it means we are outside the bounds and then we need to correct our position. What do we do? Well, we check whether do we have to correct it on the right side or on the left side. How do we do that? Well, we reuse the delta x and we check, was it a positive value or negative value? If it was positive, let's go ahead and do, oops, our desired position dot x is going to be equal to look at position x minus the bounds and that will give us the proper value now if we were um, on the other side if we were on the other side we just invert that to plus bounds instead like so so this is going to work if we are inside of the bound but if we're not so else i'm going to go one scope out and, and uh, we'll do an else statement over here so if we're not within that bounds, we got to put our camera somewhere within our bounds, like within the square. Um, right now, if we leave it here, it's going to snap to the player. We don't want that. We want to allow some free room in the center. How do we do that? We take the position.x. We put it on look at that position.x, but then we do minus the delta x, the one we've calculated at the top here. So we're now within our square. And that's if we have bounds. Okay. If we don't, simply just snap to it. That's totally fine as well. Um, next up, we're gonna look for the smoothing. And you like this one because it is only two lines. So if we are enabling smooth, actually, you know what? We don't even need brackets. If we're enabling smooth, then transform position is gonna be to equal to a vector dot lerp. So we're gonna be lerping in between our previous position, which was of course transform position, and then the desired position where we're trying to go right now. Um, and I'll do it time but delta time times smooth speed. And this way we'll be able to carefully transition across. Now, if that's not the case, if we're not smoothing at all, well, let's just snap right on it. So transform the position equal to desired position. And that is all we need really in our script today. It's really not much. Let's go ahead and play around with it. I'm sure that you guys will enjoy it uh, quite a lot. So let's go ahead and play around with it. The only thing we need to do is to set a look at reference. So let me drag and drop this player right in this field. And if we if we have a look now, we can move left and right. Okay, so by the way, we got my animation to work yesterday. So they're a little bit iffy, but <laughs> they're working. Um, let's have a look at the camera, right? As you can see, I can travel left and right without moving my camera. And that is my bounds. That's my bounds mechanic. If we disable that, you'll see that we're snapping right on there and we have no free room at all. Now it's really up to you if you like this one or not. I actually like it quite a lot. Um, do know that it's only for X and not for Y at the moment, but you know the code is really easy to read. I think you're gonna be able to transpose it to Y axis as well if you need that. Um, you can play around with the bounds. You can make that a little bit smaller if you want. So that's just one. You don't have much room in here, but you know, depends on your preference. We also have this smoothing, which is not really apparent because we have a very fast speed. If we lower the speed, you'll see that it's much, much lower. You can put it even slower than that if you want, but I would not recommend. It does give a nice little, but something like three or five could work for me. If you want to have that nice little smoothing else, you can always disable it and have something that snaps right away. Something that is uh, extremely responsive. By the way, that's not a big deal. It's actually quite fun to have responsive stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, this is actually where we're going to be ending today's episode. All right, so I just realized I forgot to film my outro. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a look at the description down below for servicing and Patreons. Yeah, thank you guys so much for donating on Patreon. It's very, very helpful to us. Pipi, sit. Okay. Blip. Good boy. Blip. Come on. Blip. Good boy. Blip. Good boy. Blip. Good boy. <laughs> Blip.